Hello friends, this video on understanding numbers part 12 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now, let's look at something very interesting. This little girl, she sees that the population of Delhi is 10 million. So somebody asked him, her friend asked her, uh, what, what's the population of Delhi? And she replied that the population of Delhi is 10 million. But her friend disagrees, saying that the statistics in the newspaper said that the population of Delhi is 9.871 million as on 2001. So now the girl thinks that, okay, I said 10 million, which is very close to 9.871 million. So what do you think? Do you think that the girl is right or the boy is right? Now the statistics which is given by this boy, I mean which he had read in the newspaper, that gives a more accurate value. But the number which is given by this girl is also not incorrect because she, she is just rounding off the number. She is talking about a number because it is more easy to remember 10 million than remembering 9.871 million. Agree? Yeah, so just to do it, make sure that you remember this approximate figure, this approximation is done and this is what we call as estimation of numbers because when we deal with very large numbers, so there a difference of a small doesn't really matter. Let's say that uh, uh, if, you, if you have invited 10 people to your house and two of them didn't arrive, so that makes a difference because there were only 10 people invited and now only 8 of them have arrived. So two are not there. So you actually feel their absence. Now let's say that instead of 10 people, you have invited 1000 people in your house and two people didn't come up. So there is a possibility that you might even realize that who were not present because the total number of people, the strength is huge. So in a similar way, when we talk about large numbers, so small differences don't matter much. So here we are talking in millions. So whether the population is 9.871 million or the population is 10 million, that approximately doesn't make much difference. So just to make it easier to remember, just to just for our convenience to use those numbers, estimation of numbers or rounding of numbers are often done. So where exactly do we see this uh, rounding of numbers? Where, where do, have we actually witnessed it? Now, in the newspaper, sometimes we have seen such news headlines which says that approximately 5,000 people went to witness the match. Now, when you have these numbers, now that really doesn't mean that exactly 5,000 people were there in the stadium. It could be 4920 people or it could be 5090 people or it could even be 5200 people so it has just been approximated to a number which can be easily remembered or easily interpreted by people now when you read that approximately 4962 people went to witness the match so it, it's quite difficult for you to remember the number so how do you remember it by rounding it off to the nearest easily rememberable number like 5000. Similarly, let's say you have a lot of coins and you count them together to make rupees 60. Now you say that total amount that we get out of these coins, these many coins, maybe these are some 10 paise, 20 paise coins and you make together rupees 60. Now when you say that rupees 60, that again doesn't mean that it is exactly 60. It could be 57, it could be 61, but then again it cannot be something like 500 because 60 and 500 are like far apart. But 57 can be assumed to be 60, 61 can be assumed to be 60, but 100 or 500 or 611 cannot be assumed to be rupees 60. So it has to be something which is, you know, very near to that number and then you can round off to that number. Let's think of another scenario. Let's say that you are organizing a party and you invited, say, approximately some 95 guests. Now, 
these are the number of people whom you have invited for the party but you do not know if all of them are going to come or if some of them are not going to come or if some extra people are going to come maybe uh, one or two extra people might come so what do you do you make arrangements for 100 guests because you think that okay 95 is the number i have invited so let me round it off to 100 so you are preparing for 100 guests because you rounded off 95 to 100 just to keep that extra buffer so in all of these scenarios we see that we use rounding off in our day-to-day -day life often you would have seen that uh, let's say that you are going to the market your mother asked you to buy something from the nearby grocery store now whatever she had asked you to buy that might cost say rupees 47 or let's say that might cost rupees 60 but generally she gives you a hundred rupee note in case uh, you need a little more money right so in so in, in normal cases you see that you often come across these rounding off scenarios where uh, the amounts are generally rounded not the amounts exactly the numbers whenever we are talking of huge numbers we tend to round them off to a nearest number which is easy to remember now generally numbers like 100 500 5000 50000 the numbers with zeros they are quite easy to remember and also they help us to get an estimate or they help us to make a, a fair guess about the number. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.